Yo, mess around, drop that TNF jacket. Yeah. So, what's going on everybody? It's your boy TNF Boone coming at you all with a brand new video. Can you guys not tell what week it is, man? Y'all seen the, not this kind of drip, but like not really because it's red colorway. But y'all heard the music, it's TNF week, man. And I'm actually like, I don't know how to feel about this week. I'm gonna need you guys to give your opinions right away what you think of this collaboration because as of this moment, I'm still undecided whether I like it or not. It's definitely different from what we've been receiving recently. Pretty like minimal brand. Um, not any like really crazy loud designs. This is a thing a lot of us have been asking for so I'm not gonna just sit here and complain But today we're gonna go over what my opinion is of this collab as well as some early resale predictions We obviously don't have retails because I'm making my video right now But if you guys want to see a full in-depth resale analysis, that sounds so nerdy Just drop a sub on the channel I will be making that video tomorrow and if you guys want to join my discord Maybe discuss with some other little booners about this collaboration feel free to send me a screenshot of you subscribe to the channel too to my Instagram at Boone. We're so close to 19k, bro. Help me get there, please. Maybe I'll give something away. Who knows? I'm actually looking forward to looking at this lookbook because I haven't seen too many of the actual pictures Supreme's posted. Let's just get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. I almost forgot to mention, by the way, in the intro, if you guys want further assistance with buying stuff this week, definitely go join my cook group browser. It's very simple to do. Just go to the link in the description or DM us on Instagram. For those in browser, I promise we're bringing back best carts for this week. Whoever has the best checkout is gonna get 10 bucks. Let's get in discussing this collab man so uh, I don't even know the proper name to call this whole collaboration I guess like the taped seam series because um, if you don't know what that is essentially the seams on all the jackets have tape over them it's supposed to help out with like water not seeping through and stuff however I was talking to Jacob Starr before filming this video and he actually pointed out to me that this is water resistant not waterproof and what that pretty much means is it's gonna be resistant to water but if water really wants to man it will find its way into this jacket uh, it's it's not like Gore-Tex or anything, which straight up just Sharkeisha's water off of you. Like you will not get wet. So there is actually like a functionality to the taping over the seams, but it's kind of redundant because the jacket itself isn't waterproof fully. So I don't know. Let's actually get into talking about the style of it. So starting it off, we got this pink flamingo ass Sanchito boy standing here. This is not the one, my guys. If you were going for pink this week, I mean, I can't talk because I'm wearing this ugly ass TNF, but what are you doing, Chief? Come on. The pink, I don't know about it. Um, my personal favorite color is the olive. I guess feel free to let me know your favorite color as well as what you're going to go for because I still don't know which jacket I want to target. I know it's not going to be the pink one, though. That's all I know, man. This should have been khaki or at least like yellow. I think a yellow one would have been really sick, kind of like a bumblebee color. But let's move on to the next photo. Um, we also, by the way, have this really dope Summit Series hit. I think that's a sick little touch. Uh, I do really like that there's not like some fat ass S logo or like Statue of Liberty. It's a pretty minimal jacket, but the tape seaming is pretty much the design for this one. Um, yet again, though, they got my man Sanchito looking like a flamingo. I reused joke, but come on, bro. That's like the best interpretation of what he looks like. I'm not feeling the pants, by the way, for this one. Uh, it's really just the jacket for me. Let's keep moving. Um, Man, wait, what? These are look like gold or something. I guess there's a khaki pant. I'm telling you guys, I've not looked at this lookbook too much yet. Um, but this black jacket does look pretty sick. Um, the tape looks almost like a duller, like gray or something on it, which I don't know if I love, but it's a clean jacket, man. Like we've been asking for some clean TNF pieces. These are definitely them. Um, and here's the olive that I was saying is my favorite. Okay, the olive just looks like khaki on flash because I just realized those other pants were definitely the olive color. And this hat, by the way, it's actually kind of cool. Like I definitely could not rock this style of hat. I could actually see some potential for it doing decent on the market, this black color at least. Um, then we also have the overdyed sweats, which I don't really love the sweats, but the whole overdyed concept, I'm not mad about, man. Next up, we have the coach jacket. And man, I do not, wait, first off, who is this dude? Someone let me know. I, I've never seen this guy's face. I like the porn stash. But man, I do not like this jacket. Um, I do like the coach jacket. I usually am not a fan of coach jacket. However, I do like this one, but the pink color, like you're just gonna keep hearing me say it. It's not the one, my guy. I just really don't like the pink for this. Let's keep it moving. Um, now the olive is not too, like look how happy Sanchito is in the olive, man. He's like, hey, let's go, bro. They didn't give me the pink. All I'm saying, he looks way happier than in those pink photos, um, but 
For the coach jacket, for me personally, it's just gonna be the black one. And I'm really curious, man, if these coach jackets actually end up doing decent. Last time they did a coach jacket for Supreme TNF, I can tell you firsthand, it bricked like a motherfucker because I copped it, it was the snakeskin jacket. But I think this one's actually pretty clean. Again, I don't know if I love the black taping on it. I think, honestly, it looks way better on the all black one. Okay, the pink pants are kinda cool. All right, I'll throw, they're sorta cool. I could never wear those. Now this right here is the freshest Damn, of all these photos without a doubt in my mind. I actually think this is like one of the hardest lookbook photos I've seen in a while from Supreme. I feel like they usually use some kind of like weird ass outfits for these photos but this is a clean fit man all the way down to the goddamn do-rag. I already know my man is brewing up some mean waves under that thing but uh, the black coach jacket, bro, kind of a vibe, boys. Um, because I don't really want to spend, what, 400, 500, however much the actual jacket's gonna cost. This coach jacket should be at least 100 bucks cheaper, I hope. And that's what's enticing me about it, because I'm broke boy Boone right now. I just paid my taxes. Crypto's going up a little bit, all right? I'm not gonna bitch about crypto today, but uh, I'm just not looking to spend, like, 500 for another TNF jacket. I have a billion TNF jackets. If you guys want a collection video, let me know. But yeah, he, my man killed this outfit, bro. This is so hard hard to me but let's keep it moving um now here we have the over dyed stuff so again i don't like this hat besides the black color i do think the black color is going to be a good pickup for the hat though um but this crew neck man i actually see some good potential for it if you guys pay attention to supreme tnf um always like the t-shirts and hoodies they do always do well and that's because of the very minimal little supreme and north face branding a lot of the times they'll put like ugly other designs on these items but literally what carries them every time is the little mini supreme logo logo and TNF hit. So the fact that these are just very basic, minimal, have those logos embroidered, I think they're gonna do super well. Like not right away, these are always hold items. Honestly, like all of TNFs a hold at this point. But I actually see these like crew necks, especially like the black and olive color. I think they're gonna age really well. I'm still, it's a miss for me on the sweatpants. This blue color, I don't know who came up with this. They should be fired. I'm sorry if this is your favorite color. It just does not go with the rest of the collection at all. Like I thought this was such a random choice. My man, no, like he knows look how sad he is in that blue it does feel like it's been a little bit since we had a kind of normal backpack from supreme tnf they've been doing a lot of weird models um a lot of the designs have been loud but this is a pretty basic one obviously the pink is not a good representation of what i just said it's pretty fucking loud but the other colorways of the bags i think are actually really nice the black backpack this drop is definitely going to be a good scoop this little like id holder shit is whatever to me um we also have the pocket tee with the same little like minimal logo hits again Pocket tee is a very good scoop this drop. Like, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, I would definitely just go for one of these tees because they're going to age very nice. I promise you guys. Honestly, it was so refreshing to see, like, such a new take on the t-shirts they do for these collabs. Usually, it's just some, like, random graphic tee. I actually really like these are more, like, fashion style pieces with the over dyed tonal embroidered hit. Definitely something brand new when it comes to the t-shirt design. So, here we have photos of the actual items. Skip the pink, bro. I'm sorry. I don't want to keep roasting it because I'm sure some you guys like it i'm just not man enough to wear pink all right there i said it uh this all of those kind of mean bro this one I'm kind of feeling it, especially because I don't have any like olive outdoor jacket like this. I have a billion black ones. If you guys only get black TNF, I would say, man, like switch it up for once, bro. I think this is a very sick color. It's still super wearable. You can match it with just about anything. The red really like hits nicely on it. I think this is a solid jacket. I'm very tempted to go for one. Here we got the coach style jackets. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I only like the black one for this, but man, is it clean, bro. Like this is the most minimal basics supreme tnf jacket it's literally just a zip up with the supreme tnf logo i feel like a lot of people have been asking for that for years at this point so here you go man if you've been wanting a basic minimal collaboration item from these two this is it you cannot complain after it because they did this one right bro i actually think this is a very solid jacket hopefully it's not too lightweight like hopefully it somewhat keeps you warm i'm sure it's still gonna be expensive but i'm hoping it's like a hundred bucks cheaper than the other one. Oh yeah on the back side too oh man this is a nice one bro i'm the pants aren't too bad either for this collab like you, you know what I'm gonna say the black and the olive pink I couldn't do it. I mean, honestly, the pink pants, I think, are better than the jacket for this. Especially if you, like, snowboard or something. These would look pretty mean in the pow. What? Uh, is that what snowboarders say? I don't know. <laughs> these are on TNF blanks, um, so that means they are going to be a bit cheaper than the normal Supreme one. Uh, black and olive, bro. 
gorgeous. This fuchsia, a little pink, not too bad either. Uh, sweatpants are definitely gonna be a miss. I think the sweatpants ID holder, those are some of the bigger misses from this collab. T-shirts, again, not a bad scoop, especially if you're not trying to spend too much. Hats, black color, the world's finest alpine. That's kind of hard, bro. I don't know, it's kind of fire. And finally, let's look at the backpack. Yeah, that black one, bro. I don't love this like shine it has to it, but um, shit, it's got red rocket on the side, bro. Yeah, this one's pretty sick. I love the little red like stitchings too. You guys know the drill, man. Black Supreme TNF backpacks, always a good hole. And then the ID holders. These are very whatever, very skippable. They're gonna be very cheap though. But that does it for this collaboration. Let me know what you all think of it. I know I've asked 50 times, so if you haven't told me by now, Hey, please let me know, man, because I'm always curious to see what the community thinks. And I honestly don't know if I can gauge, like, what people as a whole think of this collab. I feel like it's very 50-50, either, uh, this is, like, trash, it's whatever, or other people are like, bro, this is what we've been waiting for, something not too crazy. I'm kind of in the middle, man. Like, there's some items I really like, some items I'm like, uh, I definitely would not buy that. But overall, there's definitely some TNF items I would actually keep for myself here and, like, actually wear. I never wear much of my Supreme TNF, but that has me excited. Hope you guys are to live cop this Thursday. Another more in-depth analysis of resale tomorrow. I know a lot of this was just my opinion today. And I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Peace.